Welcome students to video three. In our last video, we set you up with this challenge where we were saying that we started with the up arrow being pressed and getting it to work. And could you uh, find a way to make it um, either duplicated or some other way that you could make all of the four arrow keys work? So I'm just going to show you my solution here. Uh, if I go to the if and right click and choose duplicate, uh, I can just kind of pop that down really quickly. And instead of the up arrow, I'm going to choose the down arrow because that seemed to be the next logical one to start with. And again, that's change y by a number. And in this case, uh, all I need to do is add the negative sign or you can type in negative 10 and then just press enter. And that's now set and ready to go. Now for our left and right keys, they're of course just slightly different because they go in a different direction. So I'm just going to duplicate that again. I'm going to choose uh, the right arrow key first off. This change Y by any number, I, I really don't need it anymore, so thanks for coming out, but I'm just going to throw it back. And instead, I'm going to put a change X by 10 in there. And I let's try that for now. I'm, uh, some of you may not remember whether you need it to be positive 10 or negative 10. And I'm just going to duplicate that one last time and put it down here. Uh, and this time it's going to be the left arrow. And uh, let's guess and say that this one should be negative 10 based on our previous experiments. So here's all these pieces. None of them are going to really work on their own. So let's put them all inside of the forever. So there's the one for the up arrow. There's one for the down arrow. There's one for the right arrow. And there's one for the left arrow. So this is this may be a really different way of, of thinking for you, um, but that's okay. Uh, it just has all of these combined, and so the forever loop is going to keep searching. This should also be a really easy way for it to go on a diagonal because all of these pieces are really closely related. So I'm going to click the green flag. Nothing should happen when you first click the green flag. That's okay. And then I'm going to go to my arrow keys on my keyboard, not, not on my mouse, on the actual arrow keys on the keyboard. I'm going to go up. There it goes up. I'm going to go down. There it goes down. I'm going to go right. Mine actually goes right, so I guessed correctly. And I'm going to go left, so mine goes left. And if I do two of them at a time, it should go at diagonals and it should be fairly smooth and fairly even okay so there you go and if you press both left and right at the same time it should just stay still and if I press up and down at the same time it should just stay still so that is what we call success for the movement of the frog and now we're gonna get ready in our next video to talk about the whole game and the shape that it's going to take